of fandom. Awesome. And uh, I just want to say, dude, I'm so excited to be like talking to you today because this is all me and my friends are doing now ever since like we saw the show and your character always does uh -huh. these gang signs when he walks in the room. Yeah. It's, it, it's hilarious. You're like, hey, bro. Hey, dude, what's going on? You're always pointing at people. It cracks me up so hard. I want to know what it's like um, working with Johnny Knoxville as your, your fake TV dad. I mean, Johnny Knoxville is so incredible on this show. I I was a huge fan um, before, and I I just thought his his work throughout the years has been been fantastic. And um, obviously, growing up, I really looked up to him. Um, and then seeing his performance in the show just blew my mind. He's he makes me crack up in one scene, and then makes me draw a, a, a tear in my eye in the next one. So I'm I'm really blown away. Getting to work with him was insane. He's so committed to the character. He's he's so committed to the work um, that I I just felt like I I couldn't ask for a better scene partner. That's that's really moving. I I could definitely tell that this is so different for for Johnny um, when it comes to the the drama side. And uh, going credit to the show, I was not expecting the show to really go to these serious dramatic places, and I really appreciated it for that. Um, yeah, I agree. Comedy has sort of faced a lot of backlash the last like couple of years. Steve Carell once said that uh, The Office could never be made today mm. uh, because of the the climate that everyone is at today. Where what um did you feel that this show was necessary, especially facing today's like cancel culture? Yeah, I think this show um it doesn't uh, make a lot of statements, but it uh, brings up a lot of questions and a lot of conversations, and uh, I think. Uh, the, the writer's room that um, is on within the show the, and the show within the show, the, the writer's room in the reboot show. It gets so meta. It gets so, I know it gets so meta. Uh, you should see it on set. You're trying to figure out is that craft services in real life or is that the fake one? Uh, but the, I thought that was a great opportunity to have two different generations of uh, comedy writers coming together to write a script. I thought it was a great place to explore a lot of these questions that, mm -hmm. that, that we're all talking about. What was it like portraying a young child actor that nobody just seemed to to give a shit about? Uh, it was very therapeutic. I've I was a, a child actor growing up. I started when I was when I was nine, mm -hmm. and um, of course. it was it was it was it was a pretty unique experience because it felt like it was a great opportunity. I mean, preparing for the role, I spent um, a few months journaling thoughts that I, I had of of. Um, thinking back to my childhood growing up in the industry and mm -hmm. thinking about friends I had and their experiences. My experience was very different than Zach. Zach was, um, uh, grew up on sets, uh, 24 seven uh, all mm -hmm. year round. I had the luxury of being able to go back to high school and I learned early on that school would not be a place that I would get any social credit for being on TV shows because a lot of my shows didn't air in Canada. Mm -hmm. I so I remember my first day coming back, I was in fourth grade and, uh, my teacher for show and tell said, do you want to talk about the show you just filmed? And so I said, oh, I just did a, a BBC miniseries. And it was silence in the classroom. And then a kid named Jeff Derricks uh, went up after me and sang Shape of My Heart, but then changed the word heart to fart and then fart on command. And he became the <laughs> coolest kid in school for two years. And immediately I realized my acting brings nothing to a school, a school uh, a social scene. That's so hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that is so damn funny. Thank you so much for your time. I, I really appreciate being able to talk to you and you're incredible in the show. Seriously, I, I hope to see more of you, your character and the story. I had a really, really great time watching this series. You're you're fantastic. Isaac, I really appreciate you saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about the show. I really believe in it and I believe in the team. I feel like we have this all-star team together for it and uh, it really means a lot that, that it resonated with you. So thank you. Oh,